I think if I found out, maybe I wouldn't do it anymore. <laughs> uh, maybe it's something I shouldn't know. I mean, on my on my grave, or on my bottle, or, or my ashes will be painted out the the, the, the word Ted. Uh, uh, it was unreasonable. There's no logic, reason, motivation, anything you could teach a kid, have a course in, they would have somebody in 1983 have, do a conference where he wasn't connected with a university, didn't have a job, uh, wasn't, didn't have a grant, didn't have a sponsor, had never, had, had done some conferences before, but unpaid. And I was not paid at TED <laughs> until I created it. I mean, unpaid, I ran the Aspen Conference and I ran the uh, Aspen Conference in, in 72, the International Design Conference in Aspen. And, uh, and I ran the AIA Conference and I ran the first Federal Design Assembly 73, uh, the AIA in 76. And California 101 I created in three years out in the California. So I'd done some conferences that I'd learned. I was interested in what happened in conversation. I realized that in Cairo, I realized that from conversation, because I couldn't type, that I learned by talking to other people, hearing myself talk, hearing their response, testing things out, came out in conversation. That, that if I boiled down my, my learning in the university, it was a conversation with Lucan. It was a conversation with somebody where the learning took place. The, the light bulb went on. And I thought, well, maybe I can bag that. Maybe I can put it in a bottle. And, and then I observed that the only people that I was interested in talking to were people who were doing terrific things in technology which was emerging in some special ways. Uh, the entertainment industry is always sexy and seductive, but they were more and more leaning on the technology business. All the musicians were leaning on Kurzweil's machines and things of that sort. And design, which is what it was, was kind of a thread that put everything together and led to the development of trees and cartography, which I was interested in. So I thought, well, I could put those three together and. You don't have to play around long and it spells TED and technology, entertainment, design. I mean, you can go backwards and have it spell debt, uh, but, uh, but it spells TED. And so I thought, well, I'll do a conference about convergence. Uh, but nobody asked me to. I just decided to do it. Well, that's a ridiculous thing in our society to do something like that. You don't work if somebody doesn't ask you, if you don't have a, a path that leads to money or pays to, if you don't have a publisher, you don't do a book. You don't just sit and do a book. Well, I did. Um, and I had a track record of doing that. I didn't let it bother me. I, I, I was so much of the, this wonderful film. I, I liked it when it's not a wonderful film. I liked the film though. Uh, I don't like Kevin Cosner that much but the baseball film where if you build the field, they'll come. And I felt if I did some good work, maybe they'd come. And sometimes they did. I had it up to then, I had a track record that if I did, that I survived, you know, I was doing, I had enough. I didn't have very much. Uh, I was thought of, I left Philadelphia because I was a failure. Uh, my wife of 41 years was told by the people she met who were my friends and the people who were her friends don't marry this guy, and from both sides of the family, because he's a loser. You know, I was a failure. I was, I was Mr. Jerkowitz because I, I I didn't obey. I didn't break the rules. I didn't obey the rules. It's a difference. There wasn't a rule that I broke. It's just that I didn't obey it. You know, uh, I didn't obey that you had to join a country club to get contacts or go to the right thing to get contacts to get buildings and con to build or I didn't go to the right dinner parties or do that I didn't do that kind of socialization and I didn't 
I didn't apply for those kinds of grants and I didn't try to suck up and I didn't live in the right place and I didn't say the right thing for sure ever. So, but somehow the world allowed me to overcome that when I was in charge. And uh, so I just decided to be in charge. 